Rabbi Shem the Kakadash. The blood is to our apostles, the elders, the great great wisdom, the blessings, the hope for the flesh. So we know what's going on in the news, and all that we're going to talk about before we sign up. And I'll write it to the people of the Gemalek. And this is the prophecy that's happening in the Lord when he says, uh, We'll have war with Amalek uh, forever. Amalek is one of the chief sons of uh, Esau. Just read Genesis 36. Alright, he's one of the chief sons. And uh, today we acknowledge them as the uh, small pass. Right? Uh, 1948. 1948. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're we going, dog. Like, We know how to get down. And uh, I've been waiting on this for a very long time because I, I really hate you, uh, Emily Price. I really do. Don't put a microphone in front of me asking me my, my, my opinion. So I'm going to tell you, we're going to the scriptures first, but I don't like you. Right? And the Most High doesn't like you. And I've been waiting for this moment, right, where the Most High is really uh, supposed to pulling up the skirt on the Right. Now, I personally believe that this is with their tactics that they're using to, uh, do me a favor, can you get them? As of 49. I told you. First, we believe that this is a tactic that they plan on using to usher in legislation to oppress This is uh, Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries. Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest be uh, slaughtered, if so be thou mayest prevail. Right, so, Lord said, in fact, let me close on this. 13. Uh, thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, Stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Right. That chapter is dealing with the first daughter of Babylon, which is America, which is also known as Babylon the Great and Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. The Lord said, go ahead, because there's a lot of witchcraft and subliminal messages, Hollywood, and program, and all that goes into the fact that you got television, television, like media, what is media, what is media. All of this stuff, man. The subliminal message, the movies, the Simpsons, the masonry, all of that. This is how they operate. You know this, right? They believe in that, and that's how they get their power. Okay? They believe in fake death, they believe in false flags, they believe in the different nations. They're basically trying to work on the left hand side of the world. Right? And they form their own so called enemies. That's why I call them control of the Legislation, then the so-called destroyer, and they pull the masses. Okay, we know how they operate. So I believe with all this is going on with Kanye, they uh, used him, taught him what to say, you know what I'm saying, and to say, "Here's what you're gonna do," so that they can get to the point where they can try to oppress the truth. Because we already know it's gonna happen. Then. Chances are, there's gonna be an attack or a killing by on a small hat. Right? Probably by anybody. It could be by anybody, right? Then they're gonna say, oh, you see, it's because of everything that he said and what they're saying. So we need to pass laws to prevent this and that, take down videos if you stand with this group, which is gonna link back to the Israelites. This is all what they're trying to do, but it's gonna it's backfire. Backfire. Ever since 19. 69, when you set your nest among the stars, and you break that moon land. The scripture says, thus I shall bring you down. So ever since, your little tactics of the silver flag here and there, you always fuck up. You slip up. 
when, you see, when the so-called bomb happens and you try to put that, uh, you know, label that as you don't know who that is, guess what? Somebody's always reported. Somebody caught it. Like, wait a minute, that ain't it. That ain't it. What happened when the whole pandemic happened? All these dead bodies and stuff, they zoom in. Those are damn mannequins over there. You got people in bags dead, but then they somebody moving in a dead bag. So you slipping up. Somebody smoking a cigarette. Somebody smoking a cigarette. You got paid actors. Well, they call them up. Uh, crisis actors. They've been exposed to the point to where the crisis actors have to say, I'm not a crisis. Because they're like, wait a minute, we linked you to this years ago. This is your name and all that. So then you're being exposed. Because this is how you know the operator, right? So now every time you make a move, you get back on Every time. That's the Lord for you. enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what have God wrought? You know, so, hey, just these elites, man, be putting curses on us, man, you know, and that's why the Lord put it bluntly that, hey, no enchantment and no curse should prevail against us, man. You know, because let's know this, man, these damn demons, these demons be praying to see them on the left hand side, man. Trying to put curses on us. That's why we gotta try to go back and put the curses on them. But guess what? The players are making a thing. I want to curse you for the devil. Since this had a couple of, uh, you know, rock child, one of them died not too long ago, man. Starting 24, right? Okay. This is Isaiah 40, 44, starting at the 24th verse. It says, Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formeth thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretch forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, that frustrated the tokens of the liars, and maketh the, the vineyard diviners mad that turneth wise men backwards and maketh their knowledge foolish. Right, he, he frustrated the tokens of the liars being frustrated with them. Eventually you're going to get to the point where you're just going to disable all comments from YouTube videos because when you go to those comment boards, all of them ain't solid. And, uh, a few years ago, that's when the, until the ship happened between likes and dislikes, now you got more dislikes than likes. That's why they had to disable it. So now you can only see it a certain reason or something like that. But they block it just like why? Because that's also a way to uh, show you who's really on your side. Now you click on the video and you see that it's 50,000 dislikes and only 1,000 likes. And you read the comments, you see who, what the people side. And you can see that all the dislikes are going on all the CNN, CBC, the so-called new mainstream, the regular mainstream media. Nobody's buying this shit. Read the comments, everybody. When I click on these videos, everybody side with Kanye, right? Because of what he's saying. Because uh, they making these videos, all oh, he's this, he's that, but they not calling him a liar. 
Why didn't they call it blood? Why aren't they using scriptures to validate their identity? You know what they say is? It's not you said. It's not you said. I was just like, I was on the way to the pre court and I was like, this is And I was just like, man, this is just a point. This is sham. You know, because how the hell y'all the real people and y'all got the uh, y'all got the best of the best, you know, you got the best security in the museum. But look, look, I can't even walk in the museum. I literally had to literally have an ID and I had to get scanned into the building just to go inside the museum. So how the hell are y'all the real people? Man, you're not impressed. You own everything. I got less than 15 years. And you don't even believe in the Lord. Why is nobody questioning? Why aren't you pushing Christians Christians? They're the total opposite to what the Lord intended for us. I showed you these Christians are hypocrites because if you were really about the Lord, you would reject, you would reject their belief. Because they are anti-Messiah. But yet America is in the same bed with Israel. That's hypocrisy. Well, Exodus chapter 7, verse 8. Verse 8, and the reason it says, Then came Amalek and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out of men and go out and fight with Amalek tomorrow. I will stand on the top of the hill with the God of the God of the power in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him and fought with Amalek and Moses, Aaron, her, went up to the top of the hill and it came to pass that Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Right, so I get it. Wait, you take pictures of the other side. Yeah. You, uh, you know you've probably seen us before? No, that's why I need a picture, it's crazy. I don't know, I've never seen nothing like this in my life. Really? You never heard of uh, Hebrew Israelites? The Israelites? Yeah. I've that's that's what we are. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Where you from? I'm from North Atlanta. North Atlanta? Mm -hmm. What, what about, about your uh, I just didn't see a sign like like this. It's got like the uh, yeah. devil and Jesus together. You oh. believe the Bible? I always says this is the devil. I thought it said something like Jesus is the devil. That's crazy. Okay. What it's saying is uh that according yeah, to the biblical description, mm -hmm. the Lord didn't look like this. He had the image of a so called black. And these are the scriptures. Christian churches are going to teach that because they're under an order not to teach them. Right? We're out here to bring out the truth using the Bible. Okay? Because the world oppresses the truth. Really, these so called white people oppress the truth. What's your ethnicity? I'm Dominican. Dominican? Okay. Simeon. Uh, Simeon. Right here, Simeon. Right there. Simeon. Dominican. Your father's side. Yeah. You're one of us. Okay? These 12. Are in the Bible, they're known as the 12 tribes of Israel, the lost sons, right? Today they have, this is the real name, this is what they're called today. Negro, all the way down to Mexico, and Burger. We all have That's why everything that happened on this side of the world, the Native American Indians, to the Dominican Republic, to the Puerto Ricans, to the Republic of And then blacks came over here, and were conquered, and put in slavery. Just that, like how oh, you're a Dominican. The best you are is just, I don't know, somebody who speaks Spanish or and, 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 and play baseball. Right. <laughs> right. They don't want to teach you that really you come from a lineage of royalty. The men in the scriptures, they were all men of color. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, all the other nations are mentioned too as well. But they were, uh, uh, we are uh, the royalty, you know, the true God's chosen people. Our heritage is beyond, because most they teach us is slavery. All right, your history started in slavery. Our history started in the United States. What we talk about now is how when we came out of Egypt, by Moses, the black man. The first nation to come against us to try to fight us was the Sahara. The Bible is known as the Sahara. And the Sahara. And what we read about is that 
every attempt that the other nation try to make war with us, the most high remember. He said well, what's gonna happen is what's going to Yeah. Well said what's gonna happen is, since they made war with you, they made war with me. So I'm gonna deal with them accordingly. Mr. Jacob, as he said. He saw as a father of the so-called white man. His name was changed to Eden, which means red. That's why they're red, they're called red man and red man. That's why they're red. They're a pigment, he saw means the Hebrew is like Ashashu. Because he it means wasted away as his skin was pigment. He had no pigment. He was the first so-called white man. Two uh, so-called black parents. Because two 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 uh, uh, two brown people, two so-called black people have like albinos, children like that. Like, he's the father of the so-called white race. Jacob is the father of the 12th grade. Okay. Um, when you read the story, Jacob was blessed with the kingdom of heaven. Esau, was uh, his blessing was that he hoped he was going to be a slave to Jacob. And ever since, Esau had a perpetual hatred person. That's what racism is. Two people don't know. All racism goes back really to the world. Uh, we were given the promises. The white man knew that we were chosen. That's why he was. That's why he burns pieces and kill us and call his names because I'd hate you. People like, well, they ain't the answer. Well, they know it's not. There's a reason for that. Our history goes back. Yeah, it goes to the so it's like, yeah, no problem. Oh, that's why. That's hard. This is, uh, T. Hall in the book of Exodus, chapter. 12. And this it says, but Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat thereon, and, a, and Aaron and her stayed up his hands, the one on the uh, one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until he until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua, for I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. That's right. So we wrote it as a memorial, and we're saying that right now the Lord's High will have war with him. War. Right? And we're going to read the prophecy that ultimately in the end you're going to be wiped out completely. Said, uh, got a purchase up in Moses' shoes. He, this man held up his hands all day long. And they had to uh, put rocks on his arms to keep, keep him up. Right. And that was to show that our power is the Lord. Okay. All right. All right. The, the real Jews are so called black people. Okay. Council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wave their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Secret council of the wicked, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. This is all to set up to stop us. That's all this is. They have uh, made their uh, legacy secrecy, man. You can see. For years and decades, man, they have been behind the scenes at playing the victim, but the whole time they put they the ones pulling the strings, man. Calling the shots. Yeah, they 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 the money back, you know. Everything uh, go through them. Yeah, everything go through them. Oh wow. I mean if you look at it, that that's that's a smart move on there, and here they are calling all the shots, but then they present they act like they're vulnerable victims. Everybody's uh oh. They have the, the ability and power to stop this, make this come to yeah, cancel it. Who moves at the, at the pinnacle of the council country? It's, it's those tiny hats, man. You know? They can shut down anything that's too offended. That's what we're trying to see who has the power, man. Who, who can 
what you're talking about. They may shoot, uh, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. That's right. Because uh, I watched a, a lot of... Uh Illuminati, you know, videos, they, they deep in the, in the science, they deep in the numerology, they use numbers, man. okay, they big on those numbers, they, they big all the way on the left hand side when it comes to some of the, like some little messages and all that, like you got uh, some shit like that in the Lion King, kids movies, secret little sex shit going on, man. that's, that's fine, that's, hey, uh, Walt Disney, okay, that, that one, how they use art as a way Okay, that's this is what they do for real. And if you ain't learned, you don't look at it as all oh, y'all just grasping as well. No, this is what they do. Okay, and that's why those parts that's all gated off is probably the same. They say it won't end it. It's essentially not allowed to go. Wealth research from New World Wealth found that 56.2% of the 13.1 billion millionaires in the world were Christians, while 6.5% were Muslims and were Hindu, 1.7% were Jewish, 31.7% were identified as the parents of other religions non religions. Basically, Y'all have all the damn wealth. So how the hell are y'all the victims? Because usually the victims don't have shit. They don't have no shots. You can drop a bomb on somebody in the instant. How the hell do you get people? Uh, 
uh, or seven. But the arrow shall shoot at them. With the arrows, suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of Yahweh, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. You know, like the brother said, man, you ain't got no choice but to do it, man. You ain't got no audibles, so you just, it's like a train when it's, too, it's moving too fast. Can't really stop it. It's gonna keep going in the direction it's going. So you you can't switch up what you you just gotta keep doing it, man. And, and we gonna call it out play by play. You know. Stand out now. This is what you use. This is what you've been using to manipulate the masses, pass legislation, right? So keep doing it. It's just now we know it all. Becoming so easy to be there, man. The moment we take, the moment we move, man, we know what the moment we do. We already take steps ahead of you already, man. We got your future prophecies, man. You know, we know what your end of the art is, man. You know? That's why your ultimate goal is that we just gotta shut up. So let's, what we, let's do what we do best. And let's get the laws passed and, uh, or whatever. Because they want, uh, they make their own justification. They will really use the most craziest thing in kind of time to do it. Shut up. Alright, uh, this is uh, Psalm 83. I started verse 1. Look it out. Hey. And it reads, Keep not thy silent, O power, hold not thy peace. And be not still, O power, for lo, thine enemies make atonement. And they that hate thee lift up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, right, children of Israel, okay, and consulted against thy hidden ones, and we are the hidden ones of the Lord in this earth, all right? Verse 4, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. And in verse six, it begins to name all the nations. But in verse six, I'll read what it says. Verse six, the tabernacle of Edom and the Ishmaelites and Moab and the Hagarines, and it goes on from there, but you notice that the first one mentioned is Edom. Got it. Oh, man, you are, 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 man
anti-small hat and racist tropes in recent weeks extremists across the ideological spectrum have embraced his recent comments the nation of islam and extremist black hebrew israelite sects have defended yet's statement about black people and jewish identity notice they said extremists right extremists
besides their heart in things that were not lawful. The altar also is filled with profane things which the Lord forbiddeth. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself to be a Jew. That's right. So back then, it was, it was illegal to profess to be a Jew. Those were the same Greeks. it is in their power of their hand and they covet fields take them by violence houses take them away so they oppress a man and his house even a man and his heritage right and these people did that man they oppress us in our own heritage man how the hell do you oppress somebody in their own you know and now you want to be us and you're not even close to being us man you know Like, it wouldn't work 
U.S. Department of State to find anti-small hat is it? Yeah, so <laughs> this is what they have on the book. That's why they say it's criminal, right? That's why they keep throwing that word out there. Because this, you have this on the book, so you're supposed to be the people. Okay. Go to that, that one part. dehumanizing, demonizing, or stereotypical allegations about small hats as such are the power of small hats as collective, such as especially but not exclusively the myth about <laughs> the myth, the myth, the myth, the myth. The myth about a world small hat conspiracy or a small hats controlling the media, economy, government, or other society institutions. That's the that on the board. The myth that we run, that we run. Do you believe that? This man, the devil, got the nerve to put that on the book. They call it a myth. It was not a myth. You must have just changed your last name, blend in. But if it wasn't for diligent researchers that backtrack and, and, and count your moves, man, you, you would have got away with it. But we know all y'all changed y'all last name so you won't be easily identified. Rothschilds, y'all name, what was their name before their name was Rothschild? Uh, Bauer, 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 one yeah, of them. Which man, means peasants, like, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Man, <laughs> y'all just some wealthy ass peasants, man. That's and, it. And how many times has that picture been shared around and showing you that the, uh, the CEOs and all these CEOs of the news and, and, and the health, whatever, all these people are all what? MLA. That picture's been shared. They said all these go back to MLA. Families. You the CEO, you the director of all that shit. But they put it on there. Nice. The myth. The myth that they own. So they're trying to basically say these people who say. That's why you got guys, the so-called down for the hall. Right? They back down when it comes to talking about Amazon. Now he's saying, but they put up nine years ago, what did Paul head niggas say? I'm afraid to talk about that, man. They own shit, man. They like the mafia. Yeah, what did you say after that? Jewish conglomerate. Because. You guys, I got a lot of stuff this side. You got any you guys um, I got brand new white tees, boxes, of briefs, socks, and hats, and even hats. I'm okay. Anybody else? Uh, you going to be around later? Yeah, we'll be around. You right. don't need my old man. All right, look at that, guys. Sorry for interrupting you guys. Yeah, um, I see you back down. Your name was just being mentioned. Right? Thrown in there. You Amalek, you must 
know who your boss is. You know who it is you're afraid of. You know it. And I don't know why, because this man is done. Okay? I'm not afraid of that. Look how back in the day he was getting on Jerry Heller, man. And how they, how they, how he did the, the group, man. That was one of those. Trying to have a change of name and shit. He knew. Isaiah's 14th chapter. How people gonna view this devil is like. I, I hey, got it right. <laughs> yeah, how people gonna view this devil like this the man that made the earth to tremble? Because, man, deep down the side, man, this devil know he ain't shit after his sword that took him. Because the Lord gonna take that from you, man. You had your time, man. Your eyes up. And they trying to stay where they are, they got no power in influence. They trying their hardest to get these. You need to drop him. Right. Why? Why are you worried about it? Because you're trying to use your power to say, look, exhort your power and say, like, yeah, nigga, we got you. Here's you as an example. At this day and age, man, all you rich folks and celebrities make you talk. Because it is just showing now that when all this heat coming up on, you know what all you celebrities doing? Don't bring me in here. We got nothing to say. Oh, oh yeah, quiet. Oh, yeah. You already know, if you out in the mouth, you talk about something, they're going to question. What do you think about Congress? I don't know nothing. Who the hell is I don't know nothing. I'm scared now. All right? Yeah. 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 Uh, this is, uh, Verse 19, it says, Therefore, it shall be when Yahweh thy power hath given thee rest from all thy enemies round about in the land which the Lord, which Yahweh thy power giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven, thou, though thou shalt not forget it. Yeah. So you really pissed the Lord off, Amalek. Amalek was it. Amalek. He really pissed the Lord off, man. He pissed us off, too. So I, don't, I ain't gonna forget. I don't like you, motherfucker. Yeah, that whole sneaky shit that y'all be on, that's the most annoying shit ever, man. Like, you, you play the Vic, but you, you, you just real creep like, you want to sneak and act like, you know, like you the victim, but really you the motherfucker that's got all this shit in motion and, and, and deceiving everybody. They some weird ass people. Yeah, that's why there's that book out there called the 13. Oh, my God. And, and it was one of your own that that exposed you, man. You know, and, and another one of your own, Brian, even came out and said, like, yeah, I ain't the J word, but I don't believe it. Because you know, I had a precept right. This is uh, laying back in on what the brother said. This is Isaiah 14, and I'm gonna start at the uh, the ninth uh, verse. It says, "Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It had raised up from their their thrones all the kings of the nations." And they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? So, Yahweh Shem Shai is going to bring these heathens down, these Amalekites, Amalekites down, right? And it says, Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. You know what I'm saying? So, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is on a weaken the infrastructure of Babylon. You understand what I'm saying? And, and take and take all this down, right? It says, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, for thou has said in thy heart, I will ascend unto the heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. And when they talk about north, they talk about this North America. You know what I'm saying? What, what the majority of the Israelites are. 
the Amalekites Am- 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 rule over the, the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? You know? It's a uh, documentary I heard uh, when the billionaires bought a murder from the millionaires. You know, and it showed how they, you know, became the rulers over this uh, place right here. And then, uh, it's another documentary of, what I, did, I forgot what I just told you about it was. But it showed you how they infiltrated Hollywood and how they start infiltrating the FDA and, and, mm-hmm. and these different mm-hmm. organizations mm-hmm. to uh, basically ensue that the agenda goes untamperly. But, you know, the Lord had it to where they got exposed. And it was a lot of their own people that was doing the exposing. You know, so they, they show you that you can't get one over on the Heavenly Father, man. He right. see, like the scriptures say, they're going to say, who sees me? The Heavenly Father do. Right. You know, and he used people to expose you man, in a way that you can't get out of. You know, so you you, you done, man. We already got the victory. We just, we just going through the motions, man. I got a precept, if you don't mind, brother. Uh, this is Ephesians chapter 6. So I'll jump in right at verse 10. And it reads, finally, my brothers, are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And they hold all those high place positions. So. Every time you look at a certain particular world, okay, whether it be the world of entertainment or media or political or financial, them motherfuckers are at the top of it, yeah. you know? So they're these, they're these wicked ass principal powers that's running this shit right now. And they can't, I'm, I mean, their whole idea is that they, they don't want to be identified, you know? But you can't hide it. The secret. And they just don't like it being put on the forefront. Because we know, we know, and you know. These people know. He's trying, he's trying to be like that ice cream cone that don't want to call it. You are, you are. Known 
that they are, they move like a mafia. They got hands and knees and that, and they control and make the rules. And, 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 and you know, these celebrities got to obey them. Or if not, they're going to make you a spectacle and make you, uh, they're going to try to demonize you. The same, very same thing they say is illegal for you to do to them, they're going to do to you, man. So they are hypocrites, man. You know, and they, they are scared of the truth. You know, they have to they have to demonize Jake with lies and slander, but the way you get them is by telling the truth. And you see, they don't like it. They can't they can't stand up next to it because their whole foundation is built on deceit and, 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 and sorcery and, and, and lies, man. Right. You are the truth tellers, they're the lie tellers. Because at the end of the day, what's going to win at the end of the day? The truth. Yeah. You know, because the truth cuts down lies at the end of the day. And they get hurt by the truth. Uh, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, uh, chapter 2, verse 3 through 4, and it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, and Israel fell already. It says, If that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who is that man of sin? Man, that was, man, the Edomites, man. He taught in the top chief tribe of that was never man. Y'all being revealed now, man. The whole world know who know who y'all are now, man. The whole world know that y'all have the y'all control the narrative right now, man. You know? Verse 4, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he it, he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. You know, so this devil wanna be God, man. He wants to be Yahweh, but you can't, man. You are un, you are too defiled to be the Lord, man. You know, and the Lord, the Lord don't even want you to be in his presence, man. He say he's gonna have a war with you from generation to generation, man. That's you know? why even if you look at it from the actual geographical sense, man, y'all versus them Palestinians, they hate y'all, man. Why do you think they hate y'all? Because you're a bunch of thieves. Yeah. You occupy land that don't belong to you, and when they fight back, you call them military. You call them violence. You're the one that occupy land that don't belong to you, man. Whole earth, man. The whole earth ain't your ass. Because you're a liar, you're a thief, right? You label others that thing, because you are. You're a victim yourself. They got their fucking associated with them. You know, lies and thieves, man. No matter what generation of people you talk to, they gonna say that same thing about it, man. You got, you got a stick in that type of thing, man. It's true. You tried to fabricate and manufacture the so-called innocence of that problem. I don't know. You lost my life for it. Yeah. It's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. I didn't really hear none of that. I just, I just saw like two of them. Really. You think they got to go back? I hope not. I hope not either. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 23 and 19 reads, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering all the secret laws. Right, so that like, uh, how about you guys shall see his He goes on behind closed doors. A lot of these amicalites are uh, part of these uh, satanic rituals child sacrifice and uh like different pedophile rings. Uh, and like even them uh these amical like circumcised they uh they do they do it with their mouth. Like where the hell like where the hell that's in it? They are not the truth because it's like there's so much dirt that they have on them. He knew all things ere ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he was upon them all. Okay, so he says he knew all things. Uh, this is the Lord's uh, movie that we do. Right. Like a movie, you got the good guy, you got the bad guy. Now, Jacob is the good guy, he's always the bad guy. And you, man. 
the Amalekite, see, when we get on Esau, of course, we talk about you. But we know you the chief house. We always still knew that when it came to you, we had to speak in code. Okay? Because once y'all started passing those, um, a lot of you took a lot of videos. Uh, I don't know if y'all have seen that video with the possible go back and forth with that song. Oh, man. <laughs> Bringing out facts, names, all that. They took that shit down between. Okay. <laughs> so what happened is now we speak in code. <laughs> yep. There you go. This is a uh, uh, book of Psalms, um, starting at the uh, Salakia. Uh, book of Psalms, uh, chapter 50, starting at the 15th verse. And I and call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked, God said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou should take my covenant in thy mouth. So this this ain't this ain't for y'all. You know what I'm saying? All you evil and wicked ones, right? Seeing thou hateth instruction, and and casteth my words behind thee, <laughs> when thou sawest a thief, then thou con contendest with him, and has been partakers with adulterers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, y'all come against the Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Y'all all get together, you got all the riches, you know what I'm saying? You can you can tell the the the, the uh the you know Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah's people, right? Thou giveth thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sitteth and speaketh against thy brother, and slandereth thy own mother's son. You understand what I'm saying? Right? These things have thou done, and I kept silent. Though thou that, though thought that life was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will I will reprove thee and set them in order before I before thine eyes. 
So you how about shit now, Sha gonna come, you separate the reef from the terms, you know what I'm saying? And you Amalekites gonna get 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 destroyed. You understand what I'm saying?
up because, you know, I get bad like that. I, I got to remember the Lord is more angry than the devil. Because he sees what they're doing. That's his plan. You know, so I need not to worry about getting Emily. It's already written for what God. That's going to be one of the first words out of my mouth. Amalek, <laughs> come here, mother. And I'm going to teach my children. These are the damn devils that did this, that, and that. Because you, you, you got the heaviest of her, Amalek. You ruling the world and all that, but you were responsible for the most evil thing. Yeah, and the destroy, destruction of this world, too. Destruction, because it all goes back to you. Even your whole medicine. Who pushed that down? Let it slave trade him. This is Revelation chapter 2 and uh, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. But thou art rich, come to you Israelites, and I know the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. said unto me, Thou art my son this day, have I begotten thee, talking about Yahweh Shai. Add to me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You know, we are joint heirs unto Yahweh Shai. You know? So hey, whatever Yahweh Shai is going to inherit, we gonna inherit it too. So Yahweh Shai gonna have slaves, we gonna have slaves. So the damn ass gonna be under us, man. You know? Brother made a good point saying the Lord is angry with y'all every single day. And with our people too. This is Psalm 7, verse 10 through uh, 12, uh, 11. It says, My defenses of the hour will say with the upright in heart, God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. Because this isn't the Lord's, I think the Lord likes it. Looking down here and see that we on the bottom, that his precious chosen people are all uh, nobody's executing judgment. Wicked decrees are being passed. I think that makes him happy. No, he might say, Well, he's doing he's doing plenty. He's doing plenty. Okay, because don't get it twisted. Kanye got the spotlight on him, but it's due to it's due to work that we put in to start making it possible for others. As the scripture says, uh, this is a little bit more to the verses. And it says, If he returned not, he will wet his sword. He had bent his bow and made it ready. And he had already prepared for him the instruments of death. And he ordained his arrows against the prosecutors. And the Lord already got y'all marked already for destruction, man. He said he bent the bow on y'all. What are the arrows, man, that's coming? Ice beam missiles, man. You know? Short season anyway, man. God, I got my 
Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 1, and it reads and it says, The burden of Babylon which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. And a banner is a, it's like a sign. Okay, in this case, it's a, it's a message. This is the message that's being lifted up. God, exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. So this message has got to reach the gates of the nobles. The gates of the nobles. The nobles is the wicked elite. The top. The top. That's one of their communities, man, in the day of Martin Luke. They wrote a fucking ordinance to get us up out of there, man. It, it, it was reaching to the, to the gates of the nobles, man. It, 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 it's reached too high. A uh, good example, like when it was uh, Abraham, he was going into those lands and he had to tell Sarah what to say to my sister, mm -hmm. right? Because what's going to happen is, you know, man, I'm afraid of it. What happened? The duty of Sarah made it to what? Made it right to the king This man that walked, that's how it was. That's how Joseph was able to spot out his brothers and so they came to eat. He walked in the gate. You had to you had to say your business. You are say business. They're just gonna spread, label it as anti. You know what? What about saying what he said? Because you know, if he really said anything that promoted that, they would put his name on. Bold. You know, they they'll go at them and try to arrest them. But he's not. He's just simply saying, "I'm a Jew," and they have a problem with that. They basically like, "Who are you to say that you?" You know. <laughs> and he went into the fact that he's like, "Well, I'm also a champ." Because if you really break down that word.
Right. Like the only people that do shenanigans is just them. Right. <laughs> just them. That's too stupid. Kanye questioned yeah. that. That's why he's like, I'm also with you. You know? Yeah, yeah the yeah. only people that got a biblical nationality heard of Yashwam. You know, the only Yashwam said, he said, he the only nigga, small ass, the only nigga in the, in the body got a uh, biblical nationality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they did it. And then lies and words. Yeah. Now, now the truth comes out. I've been waiting on this a long time. Back into a dollar, man. Now, you didn't count on nobody really getting into it really good. Now, the regular nigga on the street understand what shim, shim is and, and, and what, what the biblical nationalities are. So you, you caught, bro. You caught. Yes. Yes. This is Amos uh, chapter 8, starting at the uh, 11th verse. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north to the east. They shall run and to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and it shall and shall not find it. So the Lord promised and family. Well, right now you can stick within the word. If it does not come, your things will be able to. And understanding the powers of hand, understanding his devices, because we are not even going to say the devices. Understanding how he uses his enchantments to do things. How he lies and deceives and how he uses his tongue says what they say well with our tongue we shall prevail we shall be bones. they put anything out and whatever they say goes basically that's why they can go and invade lands and call them terrorists and call them militant and thieves and then people believe it. and people believe it. And now people start to not believe it. so we already know that when the famine comes they're gonna have to pass some type of law to keep us speaking and we already know that's all this this is one step closer for them to pass legislation to oppress the truth. And they're gonna link it to the Israelites. They're gonna link us to some type of radical or whatever. But the thing is, you're supposed to be blameless so that when they do make those moves, it's just it's just blatantly obvious that look it's just it's just they you shouldn't give them what they want. That's the one we we give them just like you are know, that gun. Talking six. about uh, no principalities and wickedness in high places, but I wanted to, if you don't mind, get into a point that you just made when we talking about anti-Semitism. I was curious as to when did this word first formulate. So in Britannica it says anti-Semitism, hostility towards discrimination against Jews or discrimination against Jews as a religious or racial group. The term anti-Semitism was coined in 1879 by the German ag agitator William Marr to designate the anti-Jewish campaigns underway in Central Europe at the time. Nazi anti-Semitism, which culminated in the Holocaust, had a racist dimension in that it targeted Jews because of their supposed bibl biblical characteristics, even those who had themselves converted to other religions or whose parents were converts. This variety of anti-Jew race, racism dates only to the emergence of so-called scientific racism in the 19th century and is different in nature from early anti-Semitism prejudice. So the word has only been used, what, 140 years? Somewhere in that nature? Well, it's made up. So it's a made up word. And it doesn't make sense. Then you might have something. Then you'll be identified. 
Alex. 